Capricorn. Welcome to your August 2021 reading. This is an amazing reading I've got here for you. Uh, just a quick reminder that all these readings are general, so if something doesn't click with you, Cappies, I highly suggest you check your moon and your rising sign. Um, something will definitely connect the dots in one of those three readings. So, I'm going to begin the reading, but before I do, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to join part of our community. Let me explain the spread. It's a little bit different than we did uh, last month. This is a six card reading and it goes more in depth of what's happening in the month. So I think I'm going to stick with this one. The first card I'm going to tell you about, Cappy, is the general energy, the major, the main energy for the entire month of August. And your first card, first let me tell you, you've got two, uh, two major arcana cards in this spread. So there's uh, five cards on the table, which I've already shuffled. Meditate on your energy and I wait for the cards to pop out. That's why I don't do it on camera because it takes too long. Anyway, so what popped out for you, it's two major destiny cards in amazing positions. So let's begin with the first one, which is your main energy for the month of August. And you've got, Cappy, what an amazing card to get at the beginning of the month. Can you see that? Okay. That is the full card. That is number zero in the major arcana, which signifies a brand new beginning, a clean state. state state huh a clean slate and a fresh start so zero is the number of infinite potential so that is how you're beginning the month of august and that's how it's going to go for the entire month of august seems like you've wiped out negativity from your life you've let go of things that don't serve you and the universe is granting you a new beginning now, I don't know to tell you what area of your life this is in. Maybe it's your entire life, or maybe this is career, maybe this is relationships. Since everybody's life is different, I need you to plug it in wherever it fits. But for the main energy, it means this is the energy that's gonna be around you in most areas, if not all, if in most areas of your life in the month of August. A brand new, a clean slate, a new beginning. It is also telling you to take a risk. If, if you're not sure about something, but it feels right in your gut, this is the time to say yes and go for it. If you've thought about it for a while, but you've held off, the fool says go for it. Because what's waiting at the end of the rainbow is the pot of gold. The only way you're gonna to get to that pot of gold is by taking a risk, by taking that leap of faith. Do you see his, um, let me put that closer. You see the sparkles and his heel? That means that he's blessed as he's walking the path, he's blessed. So Cappy, you're blessed the month of August. I love that energy for you. Okay, second card we're gonna go into is what you need to let go of. Um, I'm sure you've been working on letting go on things that don't serve you, so this might be something that's still prevalent in your life right now or something you've overlooked. Something you need to let go of in the month of August, Cappy. We've got the Seven of Cups. Show it to you. Looks scary, right? With that dragon. So, Cappy, um, what you need to let go of. Seven of Cups is a card of illusions okay it's the card of having many many choices around you and not knowing which one to choose it's a card of discernment which choice is the best one for me so what this is telling me Cappy, is that you need to make a decision and stick to it in the month of august you need to let go Okay, you need to let go of indecision. If it feels right in your gut, if the facts say this is the way to go, get rid of the indecision and go for it because look what's waiting for you, a brand new start, a brand new beginning. So let go of that indecision of should I or shouldn't I. See through, see through the illusions. There may be many choices and not everything that glitters is gold, okay? So go with your gut, I keep hearing that, go with your gut feeling 
and also what your mind says. Because there's some kind of choices out there. You may be daydreaming, daydreaming about something that's not really reality. It is also telling you exactly that. To let go of these illusions that you have of someone or something or some kind of situation and see it for what it is. That's in your letting go position. Next card we have is what new energy is coming into you. Remember, we need to let go of stuff right? Stuff that doesn't serve us anymore in order to welcome new energy in our life. So what are you welcoming in your life in the month of August, Cappy? And this is amazing. This is the Ace of Swords. And Aces are beginnings, brand new beginnings in, in some area of your life. Whatever area this is coming into, Cappy, there's a new beginning. Look, you've got another beginning card. You've got two beginning cards. So looks like August is a fresh slate for you. I love this. Your cards are amazing. There's a brand new beginning that's going to lead to victory because this is the sort of victory. I think once you take a leap, once you make a decision, once you let go of indecision and you let go of these illusions of how you think things should be and accept how things are, there's some kind of victory coming for you, some kind of clarity. You see the light, the light shining on the sword? That's clarity. That's knowing. This is the card of clarity, the card of knowing, the card of victory. So there's something that's gonna become very clear for you in the month of August, okay? That new energy that's coming in, it's gonna clear things up. Remember, you need to let go of things that don't serve you before you can welcome this energy. So work on that. But it's here for you. The universe is throwing it to you, okay? That's victory. That's clarity. That's knowing. That's the new energy coming in for you. Fresh, brand new. Brand new start. Aces are beginnings of something spectacular. <clears throat> in your career, I couldn't be happier for this, okay? In your career... The new energy that's coming in career-wise, you've got, it's an amazing card. This is the Ten of Cups. I want you to see it there. Ten of Cups. Now you see the happy couple underneath the, the oak tree with all the cups, um, with water pouring out of the cups. So what this tells me for you, Cappy, oh, and you see the rays of sunshine. See those rays of sunshine in the back? Looks just like these rays. Those rays of knowing, those rays of clarity, those rays of happiness from the sun. So what this card is telling me in your career, Cappy, <clears throat> is that not only are you gonna have, gonna be offered or gonna fall into or you're gonna make a decision and go forward with a job that satisfies you economically, but this is a position, a responsibility, a promotion that's gonna fulfill you emotionally. Meaning, you're gonna have meaning to this job. This is not just I'm going in from eight to five and making money. This is I am making a difference in someone's life, in the world, you know, in my family's life, in my own life. This is something that is fulfilling and balanced in every way. This is the best, this is the best kind of job responsibility that you can have because it is, you're not only doing it for money, this is something that you love, something that is fulfilling, something that you wake up happy to go to. That's, what's, that's the energy coming into your career. Something extremely fulfilling to you. And Cappies, you guys are the, the climbing goat, right? You guys are work, work dogs, man. So I, I feel, I really feel with all these rays of sunshine that I see here, I really feel like the sun is finally coming out for you. 
You know, you've put so much work into this. You put so much work into your life, into progression, into making a better life for you, your family, your kids. And it looks like according to these cards, this is gonna pay off for you in the month of August or start paying off for you in the month of August. You are gonna see, you're gonna see where it's coming from. You're gonna see that clarity that yes, this is worth it. Incredible, I just love this for you, Cappy. Your last card in this spread is relationship what is coming in your relationship area what an incredible card to get i don't know you guys have a fantastic month and i'm so happy for you um you've got number five a major arcana card i'll show it to you in a minute this is a major arcana card number five which is the number of change five is the number of change so maybe there's going to be some kind of level up in your relationship okay this is the Hierophant, number five. Whenever you get this in the relationship area, it means a leveling up. Something going to the next level. Did you guys get this before? I can't remember who got this before. Maybe Taurus. <clears throat> so the Hierophant is the high priest. This is the card of marriage. And I'm not saying that you're going to get married. Maybe you are. Congratulations. But what I'm saying is... This is a card of stability. This is a card of if you're just going out, you might make it official that your boyfriend and girlfriend. If your boyfriend and girlfriend, you might get engaged. If you're engaged, you might set a date for your wedding. Something like that. This is a level up in your relationship. If you do not, if you're not in a relationship right now, this means that there's something coming. There's a change. There's a change in your circumstances coming for you that may lead you, if you listen to your gut, you listen to your intuition, if you take a leap of faith, it could lead you to someone that wants a solid, stable relationship with you. That's what that means in this position. This is amazing. I am so happy, I am so excited for this for you, Cappy. Last card we're gonna do is our Oracle card, which is a direct message from Spirit. We've done this before, and I love doing it, so I'll always keep doing it. I'm gonna shuffle it. They're already shuffled, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna shuffle it again and see what card pops out, and I read directly from the book. The card could apply to your reading, or it could not. It could be a totally different message. I don't know what Spirit wants to tell you today. So, here we go. I am so excited for you. I think this is one of your best readings that you've had. <clears throat> August is coming in hot. You got two cards, Cappy. I'm going to read both of them, but first let me look at them. You've got time to go, which is number 45, which four and five is nine. I can do math. Um, nine in the major arcana, it's um, the hermit. The Hermit is a Virgo card. Maybe you have something to do with a Virgo. Um, hermit goes within. Figures out his stuff. You know, you, you don't look at the outside. The Hermit doesn't look at the outside for answers. The Hermit goes within to look for answers. I think that has something to do with this, with choices that you have to make, you go within and make the right choice. You follow your gut and your mind to make the right choice. So this is the first one. I will do one at a time. This is time to go. It looks like you're leaving. You're going somewhere, Cappy. You're taking off. That's what you're doing. You see the pep in her step? You see the sparkles where she's walking? Look at the sparkles here where he's walking. I love when something can connect. But anyway, let me read it first and then I'll show you the second one. 45. <clears throat> 43. Time to go. Okay. Oh wow, this is so exciting. You are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience thus far. Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to new experiences 
and a new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do, be, or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk. I told you this, right? This is about taking a risk, taking that leap of faith. This is disconnects to the fool. I love this. Take the risk and move on, even if you need to be in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. Oh my God, I love this. I love this. Take a risk. Your destiny is calling. I am so happy for this. Okay. Second one you got, Cappy, that came out is called Between Worlds, and it's number three, which is the number of the Empress in the tarot, and the Empress, she's all about manifesting abundance, okay? The Empress knows that she's the boss lady, okay? So the Empress doesn't hunt, the Empress doesn't beg, the Empress doesn't stress, the Empress has a deep knowing, knowing. The Empress has a deep knowing that she is deserving of and that she has put in the work and now she's just gonna sit down and reap everything. That's number three, I'm gonna show it to you. And it's called um, Between Worlds, number three. It's funny because it, it says it's time to go. It says you've completed, in time to go, remember it said you've completed um, your experiences in your current situation, but you're not yet on the other, on the other side. You're not yet there. So, and then this came out, between worlds. You are definitely between worlds. Don't you love how this works? Okay, this came out in the reverse. So I'm gonna read it in the reverse. This is a protection message if it comes out in the reverse. Oh God, I love how things connect. Okay, protection message. Be mindful of your expectations. I was just, yep, yeah, expectations, that's it. Be mindful of your expectations. This is not a time for guarantees. Things will not go exactly as you plan or dictate. Let go and see what spirit has in store. What takes hold in your life will be better than what you can imagine. I just got chills because I was just talking to my husband and um, we're going through some big changes also in our lives. And he just told me we need to let, he reminded me, right? We need to let go of expectations. And this is a confirmation. It's time to go. You're taking that leap of faith and it's time to let go of expectations on how things will happen because things will happen in the best way possible, even better than you can imagine. I don't think there's a better reading for Capricorn. I am so happy for this. All my love to you. And um, leave me a comment if you love this video, subscribe, and I'll be checking in in the month of April. April, why keep saying April? in the month of August uh, with little energy checks, little videos here and there. So thank you so much for watching. My love to you, Cappies.